What's up, everyone? Let us talk about Invictus Pro Wrestling. This is the Indie Perspective, episode 11. Winter's Wrath came in hard. It tried to stop Invictus from making a pro wrestling statement. But this Sunday, Invictus is making its return to Ridgefield Park, New Jersey. Love and Let Die will bring you everything that Winter's Wrath was supposed to be. And so much more. Let's get into it. What's up, everyone? My name is Raymond Sanchez. This is another edition of The Indie Perspective. This is episode number 11, and we are the Respect the Craft channel here, as today we are talking all things Love and Let Die, as Invictus Pro Wrestling presents Love and Let Die this Sunday, February the 27th, live from Ridgefield Park, New Jersey, bell time being 3 p.m. It's a little bit of an earlier show this Sunday, as again, there's a lot of festivities you could also be enjoying this weekend, so definitely come out to Invictus and enjoy the weekend of great wrestling, because it's going to be an amazing weekend of professional wrestling, as you've seen across the channel this week, we've been promoting a lot of great events that will be happening. So, we're going to talk about Love and Let Die. Get your tickets now, Eventbrite. Go to Eventbrite, get your tickets. Tickets starting at the very low price of $15. That is a steal for an independent wrestling event. Especially for a card like this, it's definitely a steal. So let's get into it here with our very first contest, as it will be Little Mean Kathleen. Again, that name that we've been talking about. Since the last time I spoke about Little Mean Kathleen, uh, as I spoke about even last night as well, I've gotten to see what she can do in that ring. And I made the joke last night with Shane Fair that she's definitely more than just a little mean. She has a ferociousness to her. She brings that tenacity. And it's, it's, it's going to be a fight when Little Mean Kathleen's in that ring. And... She's going to be facing Killian McMurphy. Killian McMurphy, the shooter, the ECWA Super 8 winner. Not only that, he's coming with big dust in his corner. So this is not going to be your ordinary just go hold for hold. This is going to be a fight. This is going to be something you're going to want to see this Sunday at Invictus Pro Wrestling. Again, the show's about love and letting it die, but... I think someone might end up having something close to that death because these two are going to bring it till the other one is either forced to stay down for the one, two, three, or unfortunately have to submit. This is a matchup I'm definitely looking forward to, and you should too. Next up, let's talk about those Invictus Tag Team Championships as we're in the semifinals of the inaugural crowning of the Tag Team Champions Tournament here as the American Murder Society, as Steve Off, unfortunately, again, having some issues with his, his former tag team partner, current tag team partner. Not sure the relationship between Steve Off and uh, how Alex Raymond are at the moment. So with that being said, he's called another member of the American Murder Society in John Tella to be the replacement, to be another heavy hitter as they will be taking on the team they were originally scheduled to take on at Winter's Wrath in Milk Chocolate. Again, what can I say about Milk Chocolate? A team that has held gold everywhere they have gone before. Milk Chocolate is a great tag team, but they, I've enjoyed Milk Chocolate since the days of even Fireboro Wrestling. If you're in the Tri-State area, you remember those days of Fireboro Wrestling and how Milk Chocolate was one of those standout tag teams of that brand, and have become that for Invictus Pro Wrestling as well. There's a reason why they are part of the semifinals here in the tag team tournament. Then you have American Murder Society. Again, if it's Steve Off, if it's Alex Raymond, if it's John Tella, all three are heavy hitters. They are they're definitely, they have that killer instinct in the ring, and I can't wait to see this matchup go down as they'll be one step closer Oh, I, you know what's funny? I'm showing, I'm, I'm, I'm talking into the graphic here, but they're going to be one step closer to walking into a championship matchup, which we'll be talking about that later on because the finals will be happening on that night. But we also have to talk about this next matchup as it will be Mucho Trouble. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Ben Bishop 
and Mucho Chris Moli, Mohi, Molijo, sorry, will be taking on the team of Meat Locker in Wrecking Ball Ligurski, NWA's Wrecking Ball Ligurski, a member of the Fixers, a member of Callis Wrestling's The Business, teams up with now Adam Kerr to form the Meat Locker. Will they be able to stop Mucho Trouble and become tag team champions here in Invictus Pro Wrestling. Now, let's talk about this matchup because, again, you have Chris Molijo, you have Ben Bishop, you have Wrecking Ball Ligursk, and you have Adam Kerr. Two teams that might not be the biggest, um, like, cohesive units, if you will. These are two tag teams that weren't tag teams originally. The Meat Locker became a tag team earlier on last year, became tag team champions in Pro Wrestling Magic, now a team here in Invictus, but my question is, again, with Adam Payne switching up the gear and becoming no jokes anymore, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to have any other names but his name, which is Adam Kerr. He wants to show why he is a true monster and a juggernaut. Will he want to share the spotlight with Wrecking Ball Ligurski? Now, as well, what does that mean for Ben Bishop and Chris Malico? Will Adam Kerr try to just devastate and destroy this team? Maybe single-handedly. Maybe he's going to be that partner that decides, you know what? Wrecking Ball can stay in the corner, and he's just going to go destroy on his own. We'll have to find out this Sunday. But also, Ben Bishop and Chris Molijo, they're great athletes. Ben Bishop, a very, very tall and large man. He's not going to be any pushover for Wrecking Ball and Adam Kerr. Again, a little, little bit later on today, I'll give you, uh, in the episode, I'll give you my thoughts on who I think advances in this matchup, because I do have to give you my prediction on that finals. But let's go into more championship gold, as the women's championship is on the line here, as it will be the vivacious, vicious Vicky defending her Invictus Women's Championship here against Edith Surreal. The Imperial Queen is coming for gold here. This was another matchup originally scheduled for the Winter's Wrath event. We are finally getting it here, and I can't wait to see this championship matchup. Again, when you add the element of a championship, it adds more to the competitors. It gets them ready because now they want to prove why they are the best in their division here. Edith Surreal, again, like I said, the Imperial Queen is a reason why there's royalty there. Edith wants to win this women's championship and add to the resume that Edith Surreal has created. Vivacious Vicious Vicky has been almost a belt collector in the tri-state area, winning multiple championships all around. She wants to continue her reign here as women's champion and prove that she is the most dominant competitor all around the world. Can she prove that this Sunday? Will Edith prove that this Sunday, that the Imperial Queen is here to stay? Can Edith prove she is the best out of these two? We'll find out. Again, you're not going to want to miss this amazing matchup that I've been I've definitely been waiting for since the original slated date. Now, we are going into the Takeover versus Sin. This is an unsanctioned match. Again, Invictus does not want to sanction this because they know this is going to be a fight. This is going to be something that is going to not be the for, for the fate of heart here. This is going to be something that you guys are going to want to be careful if you're live in the building because these two teams are going to go to war here as it will be Jay Bougie and the team of the Faceless Ones taking on the team of PJ Savage and his faction of Sin. So again, Sin, the, the, the leader here of Sin, PJ Savage, is usually on the, on the side here of the TakeOver. He is one of the main components of the TakeOver. 
But bef- since then, Jay Bougie and PJ Savage talked about it. Just because they are part of the takeover together doesn't mean they cannot be brothers at arms and fight against one another. They're going to bring the best out of each other, and that includes with uh, Jayco and the face. So the faceless ones, this is going to be a fight. All six are going to bring a ruthless side of each other. I can't wait to see what Sin and the TakeOver do in this unsanctioned match. Again, this matchup alone is worth that price of admission. The TakeOver has been showing why they're one of the best factions out there today. You can hear, you even hear sirens in the background because this is going to be a fire war here, ladies and gentlemen, this Sunday. Get your tickets. Go to Eventbrite right now. Make sure you're there early because bell time is 3 p.m., Make sure you're there early so you do not miss any part of Invictus, Love and Let Die. Next up, we are going to talk about the finals of the tag team tournament. Again, we talked about it earlier with Milk Chocolate versus AMS. We talked about Mucho Trouble versus The Meat Locker. Now, I'm going to give you my thoughts on who can possibly making it to the finals on that night and become your new Invictus Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champions. I should say the inaugural Invictus Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champions and who I think is going to make it to the final two teams is actually going to be the team of Milk Chocolate and the team of Mucho Trouble. Now, why I say this, again, the American Murder Society is a great team. However, I know Steve Off is not worried about tag gold at the moment. He'll love to add another championship to his resume. However, I know Steve Off is concerned right now with Alex Raymond. He wants to get his hands on Alex Raymond. It's a feud that even, I can imagine, is not just between in the Pro Wrestling Magic locker room. Alex Raymond and Steve Off are ready to go to war wherever it may be. So I think, unfortunately, that might cost them in a matchup like this. Because Milk Chocolate, they're ready. They're focused on winning gold. They're focused on continuing to make their statements and prove why they are one of the best tag teams going today. And then for Mucho Trouble and the Meat Locker, I want to say again that Meat Locker is not the most cohesive unit. I, they weren't the originally. They weren't an originally established tag team. There were two men that again were put together because they're both dominant forces and wanted to dominate together. But I think their statements are now separate here. I think Wrecking Ball Ligurski wants to prove as the one of the fixers, as one of the business, he is the best big man out there. Adam Kerr, I think, wants to show he alone can do what it takes. He wants to be on his own pain train. He doesn't want to share the coattails with Wrecking Ball Ligurski. He wants to do this on his own. And I think when you have two men that are not in that cohesive unit, it's just going to be easy pickings for Ben Bishop and Chris Malico this Sunday. And this is how we get now to our finals of Milk Chocolate and Mucho Trouble. Now, when it comes to that, who will win the final? Who will be your inaugural tag team champion on Sunday? You're going to have to wait and see this Sunday. You're going to have to be there live in the building. Go to the pro wrestling. Uh, go to, I was about to say the kingdom. My bad, guys. Again, it's been a week of promoting amazing events. But you're going to have to go to Richfield Park. You're going to have to go to 106 Bergen Avenue. You're going to have to be there in person this Sunday. Bell time, 3 p.m. Make it to that venue. So that way you can see who is your next Invictus Tag Team Champions. Be there, see. Could it be Milk Chocolate? Could it be Mucho Trouble? Maybe I'm wrong. Could it be any one of these four last teams? Could it be American Murder Society? Could it be Meat Locker? You never know what could happen. Could it be a team we're not even accounting for here? Could it be another team that steps up and says, hey, we want to be a part of this. We're, we're, we're adding our names into the hat. You never know in independent wrestling. You never know what could happen, especially in this next matchup here. Because 
Not only is the event Love and Let Die, for this special matchup, we're going to call it Love and Let Doug. As Love Doug is coming to Invictus Pro Wrestling on Sunday and is going to have a very special matchup. Which that's the thing too. Is it going to be a matchup? Is it going to be maybe a special segment or show? What is Love Doug going to do in an event that has love as the main component. We're in February, ladies and gentlemen. It is Valentine's Day all month long for Love Doug, as it is, I believe, all year for Love Doug. He loves love. So I can't wait to see what happens this Sunday as Love Doug comes to Invictus Pro Wrestling. What will he be doing? Who will he face? What does he want to do and make his statement in Invictus Pro Wrestling? You're going to have to wait and see and make your way to the venue. Once again, get your tickets now, eventbrite.com. Go search Invictus Pro Wrestling, get your tickets. Go to their Facebook page, go to their Twitter, go to their Instagram. Links will be in the bios as well, and links will be down in my description down below of this video. But now, let us go into a most talked about matchup here for this Sunday, and that is going to be two independent standouts, as it will be Fight or Flight. Gabriel Sky taking on Cash Flow Ken Broadway. Gabriel Sky has been an independent standout, making his waves all around the indies, showing why he is one of the best doing it today, one of the best high flyers doing it today. And I've loved seeing what Gabriel Sky is doing. Ken Broadway, a independent standout, a man that's shown now he's making his waves. And wants to make his waves known this Sunday at Invictus Pro Wrestling. These two are both looking to make their claim to be the best in Invictus. Let us see what happens when two of the best go at it this Sunday at Invictus. Who will make their claim to be one of the top? Who could possibly earn themselves a championship matchup? Because again, if they get a big win like this... You have to think it leads to that social media championship matchup. You have to think one of them will want to face Leroy next or Kennedy Copeland. Which, let's talk about that right now. As ladies and gentlemen, your main event time here for Invictus Pro Wrestling. As the social media championship is on the line. As big game Leroy looks to take another big boss challenge as he'll be facing Kennedy Copeland. Kennedy Copeland, a ultra-violent competitor. Kennedy is a beast in that ring. I, I, I don't know if Big Game Leroy is ready for this test here. Because the hardcore daughter here, she was once known as the Rebel Daughter, she's now known as the Hardcore Daughter, is coming to Invictus to win championship gold. Big Game Leroy has held this championship for over 365 days. That is a whole year's time, ladies and gentlemen. In that time, Big Game Leroy has defended against Killian McMurphy, Big Calix, Danhausen, Pancakes, Mr. Grimm, Re Von Starr, and KJ Mack. And now he looks to do the same against Kennedy Copeland. Can Big Game Leroy level up once again and defeat this Big Boss Challenge? Or will his 365 and counting day reign come to an end to the hardcore daughter? She is hardcore. She is a death match. She is a beast in that ring. Kennedy Copeland is going to bring some pain to Big Game Leroy. I know Big Game Leroy. He's one of my brothers. I love that guy, and I know he's going to do whatever it takes to retain, but I'm not sure what is going to happen here. I know he was getting ready for Robert Martyr for Winter's Wrath. Is he going to be able to bring a different mindset for Kennedy Copeland? Because, again, Kennedy Copeland it can take some pain. Can take some. He has a tolerance here. So what is Big Game Leroy going to have to bring out? He's been in some some, uh, some death matches as well, though. He's been in, in those no-ring matches and has done some things with even a GameCube at one point. So maybe he's going to have to bring out a innovative game 
to, to switch it up here. Pun intended. So again, the game changer, big game, Leroy looks to retain. Let us see what happens this Sunday. Once again, guys, Invictus Pro Wrestling. Get your tickets. Make sure you're in that venue this Sunday. The Ridgefield Park, New Jersey, 106 Bergen Avenue. Tickets starting at just $15 for general admission, $20 for second row, $25 for front row. That is a steal for those prices. Again, let's go through the card one more time just to make sure you know why you have to be in that building. Little Mean Kathleen versus Killian McMurphy. Milk Chocolate versus the American Murder Society. Mucho Trouble versus Meat Locker, which will determine this matchup here as it will be the finals for the Invictus Pro Wrestling Tag Team Championships. The Women's Championship is on the line as Vivacious Vicious Vicky defends against the Imperial Queen, Edith Surreal. Love Doug is bringing the love and let Doug happen. That experience will happen this Sunday in Invictus Pro Wrestling. The unsanctioned war between TakeOver and Sin will happen this Sunday. Who is going to walk out of this war victorious? Will the Ridgefield Park area be able to handle the six as they go to war? It is going to be two of the best going at it as Gabriel Sky takes on Ken Broadway. And then once again, your main event for the Invictus Social Media Championship. It will be the Game Changer Big Game Leroy taking on the hardcore daughter, Kennedy Copeland. That is your card, ladies and gentlemen. My name, once again, has been Raymond Sanchez. This has been the Respect the Craft Indie Perspective, episode number 11. As always, don't forget to be wise, be genuine, be real, be better people, and as always, respect the craft. We'll see you guys on the next one. And again, support independent wrestling, support pro wrestling, enjoy it, respect it, and as always, have fun. See you guys on the next one. Peace.